how is active myeloma defined? To answer your first question about uh, myeloma defining events, which at one time were also called CRAB symptoms. Uh, so CRAB, as you know, were uh, the acronym used to define those four symptoms or criteria that would help us making the diagnosis of symptomatic myeloma. In other words, uh, uh, patients with multiple myeloma who we think would require clinical treatment. CRAB, as it was uh, called, was uh, basically an acronym where C stood for high calcium, and that was defined as uh, a greater than one milligram per deciliter or above the upper limit of normal or greater than 11 milligram per deciliter. So high calcium was one. R stood for renal insufficiency, kidney problem or inadequate kidney function. And again, there are criteria for defining those, uh, including serum creatinine level, which is a reflection of kidney function, which is um, greater than two milligram per deciliter. The A of the CRAB criteria was anemia, which was basically a drop in hemoglobin, which was greater than two gram below the lower limit of normal or the total hemoglobin would be less than 10 gram per deciliter. Uh, the B of the CRAB criteria was bone lesions. As you know, myeloma patients can present with bone changes, with thinning of the bone, as well as sometimes fractures that we call pathologic fractures. So those bone lesions, uh, one or more, if they were picked up on either an X-ray or CT scan or PET scan. So these were the CRAB criteria, but then the experts realized that there were actually other features that tell us that these patients actually require treatment. And uh, when they looked at the data, they came up with three additional features. Of course, uh, with seven features now, uh, we could not totally use that acronym CRAB. So those seven features now became myeloma-defining events. So in addition to the four CRAB features that I already pointed out, the three additional features are number one is 60% clonal plasma cells in the bone marrow. So if you do a bone marrow biopsy, uh, of course, we know in multiple myeloma, the malignant cells are the plasma cells. So if uh, under the microscope, 60% of those cells or more are plasma cells, and then we have to show that they are coming from a clone of cells, malignant cells, which can be determined by immunohistochemistry or flow cytometry, showing that these are all expressing only one type of light chain. So that would be the clonal plasma cells. So 60% or more is one of the newer myeloma-defining event. Two additional myeloma-defining events. Uh, one is the light chain, uh, whereas the ratios, we measure serum free kappa and free lambda light chain. If the patient has, say, kappa light chain type of myeloma, the ratio of kappa to lambda should be more than 100, with the kappa light chain level itself should be more than 100, uh, 100 milligram per liter. So that would be second myeloma defining event in addition to the four CRAB criteria. And the final myeloma-defining event is uh, the MRI lesion. So when we do the MRI, if we see more than one focal lesion uh, in an MRI, you see different features than what you see on the bone x-ray. Um, so if you see more than one focal lesion in a myeloma patient on MRI, each measuring five millimeter or more, it is considered myeloma-defining event. So in summary, we have CRAB criteria plus these three myeloma-defining events, uh, uh, which are 60% coronal plasma cells, involved to uninvolved light chain ratio of greater than 100, and more than one focal lesion on the MRI. How is active myeloma defined using the slim CRAB criteria? So when patients initially present um, with a plasma cell disorder, 
Uh, we have to characterize whether or not someone has a precursor condition, uh, such as MGUS, such as smoldering myeloma, or whether or not they have a systemic uh, myeloma that requires treatment. The actual level of M protein that defines myeloma, technically speaking, is three grams per deciliter. Uh, but practically speaking, the level of that M spike protein um, is not, in and of itself, um, uh, sufficient to identify individuals that require treatment. Um, the, the myeloma defining events as they have been uh, recently, relatively recently updated include uh, presence of uh, what we call CRAB criteria, hypercalcemia, renal disease, anemia, bone disease, or several myeloma defining events including focal abnormalities on an MRI, a bone marrow plasma cell percentage above 60%, and a free light chain ratio over 100 with the involved light chain being 10 milligrams per deciliter or greater. So on some level, the free light chain ratio in and of itself may be a myeloma defining event. Um, or has been characterized as a myeloma defining event. So. Uh, with a ratio over 100 and an involved uh, free light chain uh, over 10, uh, one needs to discuss with their physician whether or not it's appropriate to initiate uh, myeloma treatment at that time. A similar uh, number for M-spike doesn't uh, exist per se. Uh, however, if one has uh, on serial examinations several two, three, or four uh, sequential examinations over uh, a limited period of time, a rising M -spike M protein, that does suggest that one needs to uh, revisit uh, the question of whether or not any additional CRAB criteria or uh, myeloma-defining events uh, are present because that's a situation where trying to prevent um, uh, systemic issues uh, developing from the disease is, is uh, important.